everyone, Miss Dolman here and we're doing a one-off lesson today for numeracy looking back over 2D and 3D shapes. So your target is I can recognise 2D and 3D shapes. So today's target is I can recognise 2D and 3D shapes. This is recapping something that you did back with me in year two. To be successful in this lesson you need to listen to the description, the properties of each shape, then match the shape name to the correct picture. Name the picture, sort the shapes into the correct heading, and then spot the shapes in the picture. So, let's begin our lesson. So, for the next activity, you're going to match the 2D shape to its name. Before you see the shapes, I'm going to give you some information. This information is called the properties of a shape. So, a circle. A circle has no straight sides, has no vertices. Remember, vertices are corners. If there's one corner, we don't call it vertices, we call it a vertex. Can you remember that from last year? Triangle. A triangle has three straight sides and three vertices. A square has four straight sides, all of the same length, and four vertices. An oval has no straight sides and no vertices. So we're going to match the 2D shapes to its name, so circle, and I'm going to look, and I'm going to match it to the circle. What you could do is write down the word, and then draw the 2D shape. Um, pause the video, and do the rest for triangle, square, and oval. And remember, you've got the properties on the previous part of the video that you can use. So pause the video, and off you go. Okay then, so we've got triangle three sides square, four sides all the same, and that leaves us with oval. A hexagon has six straight sides and six vertices. An octagon has eight straight sides and eight vertices. A pentagon has five straight sides and five vertices. A rectangle has four straight sides and four vertices. Okay, so same again, we're going to match the 2D shape to its name. So I look at a hexagon and I know that hexagon has got six sides. So if I'm not sure, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. So that's not a, um, a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know that a six sided shape is called a hexagon. So pause the video. Remember to use what was on the previous uh, part of the video to help you if you don't know how many sides an octagon, pentagon or rectangle have. Pause the video and off you go. Okay, so octagon has eight sides, pentagon has five sides and a rectangle has four sides. Now name these two D shapes. You've seen them previously in the video, so can you name them? Write down their names and pause the video. Okay, let's mark them. You have a rectangle, a circle, a square, and a triangle. Okay, name the 2D shapes. Remember you've learned about these, these pre previously in the video. Can you name them again? They're all just muddled up. Pause this video and write down the names of the shapes. Remember, it helps you. You can count the sides. Pause this video. Okay, let's see what you come up with. We have hexagon, oval, pentagon, and an octagon. Tick or fix. And now we're going to match 3D shapes. So we have a cube. The cube has six flat faces and zero curved surfaces. A sphere has zero flat faces and one curved surface. And a cuboid has six flat faces and zero curved faces. So the difference between a 2D and 3D shape is 2D shapes are flat. Okay, so you've listened to the properties. Now we need to match 3D shape to its name. So a cube. Which picture is a cube? Sphere. Which picture? shows you a sphere and which is a cuboid. Pause the video and write down your answers. Okay, here we are, let's mark it. 
keep the cuboid. A cone has one flat face and one curved surface. A pyramid has four flat faces and one curved surface. And a cylinder has two flat faces and one curved surface. Match a 3D shape to its name. Pause the video whilst you work out which one's the cone, pyramid and the cylinder. Okay, ready to mark then. Cone. We have an upside down ice cream cone. A pyramid. And a cylinder. Name the 3D shapes. Remember these are shapes that you've just been looking at previously in this video. They're just a bit muddled up now. So name 3D shapes, pause the video and write them down. Okay, let's mark them. Remember it's tick or fix. We have a cube, sphere and a cuboid. Can you name these 3D shapes? Pause the video, write down their name. Ready to mark, we have a cylinder, a cone and a pyramid. So your task now is to put the objects under the correct heading, the correct heading. So you've got cube, cuboid and sphere. So have a look at the objects, the 3D objects, and can you either draw or write the name of it or put the letter next, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, into the correct one. So have a look at the first one, A, it's a globe, is that a cube shape, a cuboid or a sphere, and write the letter under the correct heading. And here are the answers, so pause the video and tick or fix. Mo says, the odd shape out is the square. We have a, a sphere, a cuboid, a cylinder, a square and a pyramid. Is the odd shape out the square? Is that is Mo correct or not? Explain your answer. Pause this video whilst you work that out. Mo is correct because all the other shapes are 3D except for the square which is 2D. Did you spot that? Which 2D shapes can you see in the picture? Can you see any triangles, any squares, any rectangles, any circles, any hexagons, pentagons, octagons? So write down all the shapes that you can see, just the 2D shapes. How did you get on? Did you find these? Now I would like you to have a look around your home for 2D and 3D shapes. Look for objects that are 2D and 3D shapes and write them down and then when you come back to school you can share what you found with me. So how well did you do in this lesson? Remember to self-assess using the emoji that you think you are and write that down on your work. Your target today was recognising 2D and 3D shapes. It was a recap from year two. So when you look at a shape, can you name it? So, you should have listened to the descriptions of each shape, which are called the properties. You'd match the shape name to the correct picture. You named the picture. You sorted the shapes into the correct heading. And you spotted the shapes in the picture and said, that's a triangle, that's a hexagon. Hope you've remembered lots about 2D and 3D shapes. And that it's all coming back to you now. Please bring your work with you to school tomorrow so that I can see how well you've done and what you've been up to. And I hope you're all okay and I shall see you tomorrow back at school.